Technology changes the quality of life. Technology is ever evolving. The quality of life of you and me, human beings, it's also improving every day. Technology, human life, this is something that goes hand in hand in the road of human development. You may have heard and listened and understood at this moment in order to think about the next generation or the next life of humans, that is you and me, we have to go hand in hand with technology. So the sustainable development of all of us, the planet, the people, and all of us depends on using better technology. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for being here in this forum, in this launching event of Hack AI 2021. Welcome to Hack AI 2021 introduction or the launch. And this is a wonderful evening at Sri Lanka Saturday. And welcome again back to this session. Thank you very much for joining this. This is an amazing session for all of you to be. In fact, if you are here joining from different social media platforms to this session, we can guarantee that this session, which is going to be for the next few minutes, is going to add a lot of value to you in terms of why you should become a part in this endeavor of solving human problems in a sustainable manner using technology. And if you are not yet a part of this, this may be a very keen and open invitation for you to be a part of this session so that you can, in fact, help the human generation. My name is Tilina Bandar, and I'll be your moderator and host for this evening. Welcome back and welcome to this session. And this session will add more value to you, and it will help you to understand what and how we are going to do in this session. Hack AI 2021 is going to be an amazing effort by many organizations because we believe that technology is for human beings. Have you ever thought of technology? When we hear that technology is booming and improving, developing every day, have you ever questioned why is technology there? Why is science improving? For whom is that? The well, technology and science that you can argue is for all of us. The ultimate objective of technology and science, you can argue that is for us to help improve ourselves so that we can help every other people to go to the next level with that objective with that idea hack ai 2021 is proud to present this entire program which will help sri lankans to solve real human problems using technology at this moment ladies and gentlemen we are so proud that hack ai 2021 competition which is open to public schools as well as universities now we have more than 250 registered teams and the registration is still open and this is an open invitation to you if you are a university student or a school student who is ready to apply technology to solve some real human problems this is a perfect chance now while the entire world is lamenting about negativity that's brought from the covid pandemic you are here to solve the human problems. So for that endeavor, for that positivity, positivity that you bring to the entire planet, I want all of you to give a round of applause to yourself because while the half of the world is lamenting, you are here to improve the quality of life of human beings. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here on this fantastic Saturday evening and welcome back to the launching event of Hack AI 2021. Now, obviously an endeavor, something like this, an exercise of this nature cannot function without the backing of a lot of organizations. And there are a lot of strong organizations behind me, behind this program, who has been pioneering programs like this and who has absolutely brilliant missions and visions and dreams about Sri Lanka being in a better place. The Sri Lankan youth being in a better place you and me being in a better place a higher place in a much more valuable place bringing more value to the entire human being not only to sri lanka but to, but to the entire country and there are many organizations while there are many organizations who is been pioneering this session i like to introduce few special key dignitaries from some of the organizations who has been pioneered in this session in order to bring this session to you and me. So if you are joined here from Facebook or any other social media, don't forget to share this message 
to your friends, to your colleagues. Don't forget to invite them to become a part of this because this is not about a competition, gentlemen, ladies. This is all about supporting the human beings to go to the next level. This is all about thinking and using our mental capacity to help another human being to go to the next level. How do we go to the next level as human beings? Now, as I said, uh, endeavor something like this cannot function without a strong backing from a strong organization. That's why we are going to first invite one of the pioneering person who is behind all these schedules. Now, STEM Up is an organization who has been pioneering in this kind of organizational situations and who has done this kind of endeavors and exercises in the history. They have a proven historical, historical record. And in order to bring this launch event a success, I want to bring this one key individual into this stage, into this virtual stage. He represents STEM Up Educational Foundation, Mr. Indika Dalugama, who is the current director of STEM Up Educational Foundation. Indika, good evening to you. Thank you very much for being in this session. And uh, Indika, I'm curious now, Hack AI 2021 is a program that you want to introduce, especially to the Sri Lankan schools, as well as to Sri Lankan uh, universities. You wanted that to be a competition where people can showcase their thinking, thinking uh, capabilities, how they can use that technology for the betterment of human beings. My question is, why, did you, why do you want to believe in Sri Lankan youth with the schools and the universities. Why do you want to believe in them to bring the sustainable development goals to this country, to these people? Why do you want to believe in Sri Lankan youth? Indika? Thank you, Thirina. Hi, good evening, everyone. So the, let me welcome again for the Hack 2021 on behalf of the STEM Up Education Foundation. So before I just answer your questions, I would like to go through about the history of the STEMA Foundation and what is our mission and how we how we engage with the, our volunteer base to uh, volunteer base and also students to make their career successful. So, uh, so anyway, so it's pleasure to be part of these. Uh, it's pleasure to be part of uh, sharing some uh, kind of a thoughts about our organization. So we started uh, STEM Up Education Foundation 2016 as a nonprofit organization and we set up volunteers. So then after that, we uh, expanded our the footprint uh, in multiple areas. I would say, so the Coder Dojo, Hour of Code, uh, Machine Learning for Kids. Likewise, it's spreading to the many area. So what we believe fundamentally is that our key strength and our key value is our volunteer base. So we have a thousand six hundred plus of volunteer base already engaged with our STEM of Education Foundation. So that is our key strength. And out of that, eighty percent of them are universities. That means we have a right level of expertise engaging with us to drive our key initiatives. That is the the key things as a STEM of organization, right? So. When I talked about our mission, so that is very clear. When we uh, initiated this uh, STEM Up Education Foundation, we have very clear mission. So how we can encourage our students to find their passion for STEM. So that is our key mission. So then how we support them to build their career. So with this a lot of programs and also a lot of volunteer based industry experts so we are bridging that gaps and we are supporting them to achieve their goals so that is the key mission and vision what we are driving as a stem of education foundation so one of the key initiative we took was machine learning for kids so that is a, the program we introduced to our student how they can learn new technologies around ai and machine learning so which is the fundamental of now world is moving. So when you talked about every organization, every industry, now they are talking about then how they can adopt AI and machine learnings to their businesses, how they can drive the business through that. So that is the key differentiator. So that's why we thought to launch kind of a machine learning for kids program 
where we can give that expert knowledge of future to our kids our students so then they know where they want to focus and where they want to build the career on top of that right so then so especially to the hack ai 2021 so is a key milestone for us as a system of education foundation why so we collaborate with uh, undp and also slascom to drive this uh, drive and solve kind of a real world challenges real world problems in order to solve this uh, sustainable development goal so that is our key agenda for this hackathon how we can engage how we can solve this uh, sustainable development goal related uh, real world problem using ai and machine learning so it will it will make an impact that's our belief so we want to make an impact to the society and how this new technology evolve and how it can directly related to solving this problem so that is kind of experience for uh, our hackers as well as how we can give that message to the sustainable developments so that is our primary belief and also that is what we are going to execute finally i want to thank each and every individual who put the effort like all the partners all the individuals who organized this one and the effort they put to make the successful event thank you tilna thank you very much indika for that uh, concise but very meaningful session and uh, Obviously, this kind of a session or a, a competition cannot be just executed only with STEM up because we need some experienced uh, people or a, 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 a set of people who has experience in running this sort of a thing. Because especially Indica mentioned about machine learning, Indica mentioned about artificial intelligence and usage of many technologies. Especially we know that these technologies are going to be used by our next generation. We believe in school, uh, school generation and also our university brothers and sisters because you are our next generation. Now, you know, when we talk about technology, we cannot forget a special organization that is one of the pioneers in pioneer organizations in this country, which comes to our mind when we talk about technology. Now, before introducing the organization, which is obviously Slascom, I'd like to invite all the participants, all the audience members who are connected with us in multiple social media channels. If you have any question, about the hack ai 2021 competition how it's going to work and if you have any slight confusion any challenges any questions that you would like to ask from the audience members please drop a comment please drop a question on your comment box from any social media that you are watching we will be definitely looking at your comments your questions your suggestions your improvement points and we will be incorporating all of these things all the resource people who have come here has come here to help you because we believe in you that's exactly why we have thought of launching this event in this nature rather than being a one-way presentation and next as i said uh, we have a very important organization which i would like to introduce as the knowledge and the innovation hub or the chamber of sri lanka and you know what i'm talking about this is the sri lankan association for software services companies which is typically known as slascom now you may be coming from a university background even from school background slascom is a key organization which is running a key role in sri lankan technology arena and as the next DNA of the country, I think you will be more closely working with Slascom. And most importantly, there will be a lot of mentors, a lot of guidance coming from Slascom when you start the competition. Especially, you should know that Slascom has a grand vision to 2025 to bring and generate over 5 billion of USD revenue for Sri Lanka and create 200,000 direct jobs for IT industry, as well as to establish about 1,000 IT BPM startups within Sri Lanka. That's why I said to run a program like this, we have, we want to have a visionary organization and that's exactly Slascom. And to represent Slascom, we have its vice chairman today, Mr. Jehan Perin Panayagam. Mr. Jehan, 
my, I'm, I'm curious now Slascom is for IT organizations it represents IT bodies but why do you want to support a course like this because this is going to be the next generation and uh, this next generation obviously is going to be our next blood in the next few years to come why do, does Slascom want to get into a partnership with this kind of program and help the next generation of the country Thank you very much indeed, Dilina. Artificial intelligence is a technology which is truly revolutionary and has tremendous potential to shape our future. In Slascom, we have recently launched an ESG initiative, Environmental Social Governance, as well as a foundation with the tagline, Tech for Good. So the vision that our chair, Sandra, outlined is for Sri Lanka to be the first green IT BPM destination and that Sri Lanka will be known not only as an island of innovators generating $5 billion in export revenue, but as a, as a responsible, sustainable industry and destination. Slascom has signed an LOI with the UN <laughs> Resident Coordinator's Office and has obtained membership of the UN Global Compact. And we have a detailed agenda to uplift our entire membership and our industry in terms of sustainability and in terms of SDGs. Like you outlined, I really believe in the power of technology to make a difference. Our president, His Excellency Gotabe Rajapaksa, has shared the country's goal to be net zero by 2030. Technology has a huge role to play in shaping the future of our country and has a potential to address many of the pressing challenges facing us. And artificial intelligence and machine learning has powerful applications, be it in precision agriculture. Today, one of the most challenging uh, issues facing our country is the production of food and of the correct mix of agrochemicals. Now, precision agriculture powered by AI can tell you that in terms of climate, in healthcare, in poverty alleviation, in fighting crime, in reducing road accidents, in smart government. We heard His Excellency Basil Rajapaksa yesterday stress on the importance of technology in smart government. I believe it will be technology that will take us to achieving developed country status. And it is important, therefore, to start that journey now in our schools, in our universities. And this hackathon is a great initiative that will build awareness of real world challenges and practical solutions that can be designed using technology. The planet and the country has some pressing challenges and your generation is facing an existential threat. But I am speaking to, to you today with hope that some of you will be challenged and inspired to come up with who knows, maybe a world class solution and a world class innovation. Today, we have many Sri Lankans who are world beaters, leaders in every sphere. Why not in AI? And why not you? I'd like to acknowledge and uh, really laud and celebrate the work of STEM Up Education Foundation, whose brainchild this initiative is. And Slascom is delighted uh, to partner with you on this very, very worthy, very inspiring uh, initiative. Slascom Technology Forum, Alvin and his team for working tirelessly with the STEM Up to organize this hackathon. Thank you. UNDP, they are bringing their knowledge and expertise on SDGs to this hackathon so that we can identify real problems and the event sponsors and partners who through their contribution have made this launch possible. I would like to end by paraphrasing this quote from John Wesley, learn all you can, earn all you can and give all you can. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jahan, for that wonderful and meaningful insight that you brought. In fact, when you say learn, earn and give all you can, I think that's an amazing message that you kept in the minds of this younger generation, the next generation, because that's we believe is what we are all about.
And I'm 110% sure that the participation of more than 250 plus teams in this endeavor shows that they are willing to take this challenge that you mentioned to the next level. Thank you, Jehan, for stressing that vision of SLASCOM towards 2030. Obviously, I'm pretty sure with a crowd, something like this, volunteers like this, we are geared to go on that direction. Thank you, Jehan. And with, before moving into our next planned discussion, uh, I would like to introduce if there is anyone who is yet to learn about this Hack AI 2021 program, I'd like to invite all of you to visit hackai.lk website. I repeat that hackai.lk, that is H A C K A I dot lk hack ai dot lk is dedicated to educate you about this hack ai 2021 competition and when you go there you may find a plethora of subjects that will give you a lot of information how you can get into this program and what you're going to learn and the ultimate things ultimate prizes all this because this is a competition who is going to be which is going to be targeted for inter university category as well as for inter school category where there are absolutely gorgeous cash prices and other prices waiting for you to give so who knows just like jahan mentions the next revolutionary product or the solution can come from these 250 plus teams who knows sometimes the world's changing or the or the most difficult problems can be solved by just one just one imagination of just one person who is just watching this video right away so while congratulating for all of you to be in this session today, let's move into the next session. Uh, now, obviously, to run this kind of program, we need a framework. This is not just a competition that comes in an ad hoc manner. Now, it's very easy to use words and jargon like technology, sustainable development. These are jargon these days, which is typically used by many people. But a competition of this sort, which has a greater vision, which has a greater dream, should be always driven by a very strong framework. And we are very happy that this session or this hack ai 2021 program is not just a not just a alien program it's not just an ad hoc program that comes into the sri lankan environment but it is backed by a very strong framework which is supported by united nations development program the undp now obviously undp has been very helpful to the entire world especially to sri lanka by setting some goals for the entire world so that we are going to see a better world, better planet, better set of human beings by 2020, which we typically call as SGD, Sustainable Development Goals, which you are going to hear a lot more. Now, the framework that UNDP has set is an absolutely amazing gift to this Hack AI 2021 program. Now, all of you might be curious, what's the role of UNDP going to play in the hack ai hackathon what's undp has to do with the technology hackathon we are going to listen about that in this launching day of hack ai 2021 to introduce the undp representative let me invite the undp representative for today mr Ahmed nishad tech for development lead of citra lab representing the UNDP Sri Lanka. Ahmed, the virtual stage is yours. Hi, Tilna. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, STEM Up team, for the invitation. Uh, yeah, and a very good evening to everyone who has joined us uh, this evening. Uh, as UNDP, we are happy to have partnered with STEM Up and uh, STEM Up Foundation and uh, SLESCOM to jointly organize this event uh, and look forward to all the innovative solutions, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, that are coming towards uh, achieving the SDGs, uh, which uh, Tirina rightly mentioned uh, has been uh, is one of the core frameworks that uh, UN uh, works on, uh, and especially from our younger generation. Uh, and uh, so, uh, with that in mind, uh, uh, to talk about our partnership and what this means uh, for UNDP, uh, here is a message from our deputy rep uh, deputy resident representative uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, Miss Marlene Herving. Prabhat, over to you. Thank you. It is a great pleasure to speak at this launch event of the Inter-School and Inter-University Hackathon, Hack AI. 
Engaging and empowering young people today will determine tomorrow's sustainable development. And with advanced technologies such as machine learning and AI, we can accelerate human development globally. And it is apt that these technologies are used if we should achieve the sustainable development goals. Understanding the importance of digital in Sri Lanka, UNDP has embarked on several projects with ICTA, Ministry of Justice, Ministry of Local Government and others. And in addition, UNDP is proud to have embarked on our flagship youth program, Hackadev, reaching nearly 15,000 young people over the last three years, including programs on digital skills with over 43% female participation. UNDP's global expertise through regional innovation centers, accelerator labs and partner networks makes us a center of excellence in social innovation and digital. The Citra Social Innovation Lab, a first in Sri Lanka, is one of the examples of our commitment to social innovation and digital experimentation. Together with adapting technology to solve development challenges, it is also a priority to adapt the education system to the modern age and the future challenges. And we understand that concepts such as STEM, STEAM, STREAM are required to build a future fit generation. And together with our partners, UNDP is advocating for transformational change in our education system. Programs such as Hack AI help raise awareness on the need for these modern day skills to accelerate the adoption across Sri Lanka. UNDP stands committed to support such interventions to accelerate towards achieving the SDGs. I would like to take this moment to thank the STEM UP Educational Foundation team for collaborating with UNDP. And a special note of appreciation to the SLAS Common STEM UP Foundation members who work closely to make this program a reality despite all the challenges due to COVID. Wishing a good luck to everyone participating, and I really look forward to see some inspirational and innovative solutions through this competition, which can help us all to build forward better. Good luck. Thank you very much, Ms. Marlene. Uh, that was, ladies and gentlemen, the Deputy Resident Residence Representative of UNDP Sri Lanka. And I also thank you very much, Ahmed, for representing UNDP. Now we have heard of the objectives and the different type of organizations that has partnered together to bring Hack AI 2021 to you. You have already heard of a very special term, SDGs sustainable development goals now if you move into the hack ai 2021 website you may have seen already that the competition revolves around this word called sdgs the sustainable development goals obviously we all understand that we are all dreaming of a better world that's where the sustainable development goals come into the picture imagine the world 2030 where most of the challenges for human beings are sold using technology you are going to be that person who is going to make that action because we know dreams without action is not going to have a lot of value that's why we believe in you that's why we believe that hack ai 2021 is going to make a real shift in the way that country is moving not just for us as sri lanka but as the entire planet entire people in fact 2030 world is going to be different because of these 17 SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals that are presented and thought through, which is typically revolving around five aspects. The people, the planet, the prosperity, the peace, and the partnerships, which we typically call the five Ps. And there are 17 Sustainable Goals, which are amazing. And these are the, the importance that I have seen in these 17 goals is that they are driven by people like you and me. These are for us. These are for you. And these are for your brothers and sisters. These are for your parents. These are for your entire nations and for the entire country. These are for us. The goals are for us. There are 17 goals. And you may be absolutely clear about these 
things which you have already, if you have already gone through the Hack AI 2021 website, but if you are not yet gone through the Hack AI website, this will be a perfect chance for you to have a clear understanding what SDGs mean and how SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals are going to be used in the Hack AI 2021 competition. And don't worry if these things are not completely clear to you because there will be much more further sessions about these things and how these things are going to affect you. That's the importance of Hack AI 2021. This is not just a competition, but we want to honestly improve you, help you so that you can go to the next level. Now, with that idea, I'm curious how these SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals are going to help these individuals who, who are these young individuals to bring solutions to our next generation, to our people, planet, and to our prosperity, peace, and partnerships. And I have the perfect person to talk about that. Of course, Ms. Marlene from UNDP mentioned Citra Social Innovations Lab. And I have a data scientist coming from the Citra Social Innovations Lab, Bhagya. Ms. Bhagya Maheshi, who is a current data scientist at Citra Social Innovation Lab, is going to elaborate to us what these SDGs are, how they were, you know, how they came into the picture and how these things are going to change the way that you and me are going to live in this world in 2030. Bhagya, over to you. Please help us to understand what these SDGs mean and how we can help to build a better community. Thank you, Tilden. Good evening, everyone. It's a great opportunity to speak to all of you about the sustainable development goals. I know it's a very technical term. Like everyone is like talking about it, like it's like a buzzing word, sustainable development goals. So this 2030 development for sustainable development agenda was adopted by all the United Nations members in September 2015 at the UN headquarters. So this framework is a um, blueprint that provides peace and prosperity for people and planet now and into the future. So it, not just now, but looking into the future also. So if we look into this holistic framework, there are, as Tilna said, there are 17 goals. If it is very technical term, we can say it's like a thematic area, 17 interlinked interconnected thematic areas or other terms it's like 17 domains when it comes to software engineering we know what is domains and subdomains are so these 17 thematic areas or 17 goals at a higher level we can see as economical social and environmental goals we can break them into those three categories as i said these are interlinked and interconnected so under each of these 17 goals, there are a set of targets that providing a policy direction or uh, a means of implementation, how we can implement certain policies. And under each of these targets, there are one or two indicators that has been assigned to measure whether these targets are on track whether we are on track for the milestones set up by these targets by 2030. Although Trina said it's like a fixed or like a very strong framework. Yes, it's a strong framework, but flexible, which means the countries can decide whether to report on or like work on certain targets or not. And also this framework is revised every five years. Um, as I said earlier, these are thematic areas. The 17 goals are main thematic areas. For example, the goal number three is good health and well-being, which is the health domain. Under that, there are certain targets that talk about maternal health, child health, communicable diseases, non-communicable diseases, uh, road traffic deaths, or resources for health. So those are subdomains or like sub-thematic areas under that goal and when realizing these targets are on track for the 2030 milestone data is very crucial so that is the gap we see at the global level national level and subnational level there are a lot of data missing when it comes to indicators there are certain indicators that have 
data already in place, the methodology in place. And for some, there's a methodology, but no data. And for some, there's no methodology or no data at all. And for that, we need to work on like newer ways or like non-traditional ways of collecting, compiling data to see what are the disparities, what are the gaps existing in our policy frameworks, whether we are on track with the SDG targets or not. So for that, the, the statistical community is looking into ways of using big data, AI, ML, web scrapping, or that sort of a newer technology to compile the data in and see, get better data and like meaningful insights out of that. I want to address like two misconceptions that around this uh, uh, framework. One misconception is that people see this framework as a data framework or an indicator framework where each and every country have to report at the end of the year. It is not. It is not a data framework or like indicator framework. It is a policy framework that allows countries to transform their development plans in a way that it is sustainable, that all the people, all the parties are counted in, uh, count in when they, when they do certain policies, when they do um, certain programs in, where are the indicators help them to see whether they have achieved it, whether they have covered all the required people, all the stakeholders in. Another misconception on the SDGs is that this is a UN-led agenda. This is a UN agenda. But I have to tell you, this is not a UN agenda. It's a people's agenda. Let me get an example. So again, on goal three, on good health and well-being, there's a target to reduce number of traffic accident deaths. Obviously, when we put like regulations and laws in place, we can reduce the number of traffic deaths. But it's in the hands of the people at the end of the day to become more responsible drivers, to become law abiding people. If they don't do that, there's no point having laws or regulations. So that's why this framework is a people's framework. So with that background and understanding and looking into this thing that Tilina earlier mentioned, the like five P's, people, planet, prosperity, uh, peace, and partnerships. When we look into partnerships, partnerships, we start at the global level. The countries have to work together. The custodian agencies like UNDP, UNESCO, UNICEF, each organization has to work together to make that framework realize. And when it comes to the country level, different ministries have to work together because the framework is interlinked and interconnected. And when it comes to a subnational level, the, the subnational governments or like uh, municipal council, they have to work with people. When it comes to people, you have to work with your neighbor. So again, this is a people's framework. This is a way of living. And if you see the Hacker AI, platform, the website, you have seen that we have selected six goals. Why six goals? Why, why we only focus on six goals? You might think there are 17. Why didn't we open for 17? The reason that we went into these six goals was one is the availability of data. We know that for AIML, we need data to at least to understand the background or like create a picture of it. So with the availability of data, and then we try to balance the economic, social, and environmental goals presenting into uh, the competition. And also we look into how we can use AI ML technologies in maybe designing certain processes, customer, consumer products, or like service applications, and how we can use these technologies to compile data or collect data. And also we look into present social trends, like what are the trends with the available data, what are the trends that we see in Sri Lanka, and how we can better utilize AI and ML technologies to solve those issues. So with that, we have six goals. Goal three on good health and well-being. Goal four, quality air education. Goal eight, decent work and economic growth. Goal, level, so goal 11, sustainable cities and communities. Goal 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions. And goal 15, life on land.
So when it comes to goal three and four, those are two goals that we have achieved more or less for certain targets. There, where we look into uh, certain targets that we still need to achieve. One was uh, on goal three, communicable diseases, HIV incidence and prevalence, which is very high in Sri Lankan numbers, and then mental health. We know like there are higher number of suicides there. And when it comes to the education, the enrollment rates pretty much high for primary, but if you look at the data, when it comes to the secondary level, it's slowly degrading. And then the higher education enrollments, which is a chaotic situation in Sri Lanka, and the IT, ICT literacy, which is like a required thing to moving forward. And when it comes to decent work and economic growth, uh, the formal and informal employment, and then equal pay, which is a hot topic all around the world, whether the men and women are pay equally for the same position and also on the sustainable tourism. And when it comes to goal 11, we looked into convenient access to public transport, whether we can use our public transport effectively and save spaces for all without harassing or, or getting into trouble. And then solid waste management, again, a big issue. And when it comes to goal 16, we look into conflicts, uh, how, we, how we can use uh, social media to um, to detect conflicts or resolve conflicts, data to resolve conflicts, and then physical, psychological, and sexual violence and abuse, and safe walking. On last, the goal 15, we look, we wanted to look into land degradation when it comes to agriculture, land is crucial, and then threatened species and plants, and invasive alien species and on land and water. Um, I think that that's like a very brief introduction about what is SDG and what is it uh, looking to and why we select these five goals and within six goals and within these six goals what we selected and we can move into more details when we have the uh, the, the sessions and wish good I would like to wish good luck to all the participants so the competitors who are going to come and hope to see nice innovations coming through them over to you Thilina. Thank you very much Bhagya that was really concise and but really valuable and it's great to hear that there will be much more sessions many more other sessions which is going to add a lot of more value to all the participants so if you are a participant here listening to us through any social media platform be ready to get a lot of value from this session this is not just going to be another traditional competition where you will compete and get some prize and go away no 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 we are going to think we are going to learn and in the meantime, we are going to solve real problems. The meaning of the SDGs that Bhagya just mentioned is, if you look carefully, there are real challenges to the humanity, to Sri Lanka, to the entire planet. And that's what you are going to do. So this is not just a competition, but this is about you and me. And that's why we are inviting you. That's why we want you to make invitations to your friends, to your colleagues. And of course, to run a show like this, we need a lot of technology. We need a lot of techno technological backing. Technology is for all of us, for human beings. We all understood that. But you know, solving these kind of human problems using technology needs a lot of brain power, a lot of capacity, a lot of in-depth thinking power, a lot of complex theories, algorithms, different things coming into just one place so it's a big cog wheel there are many wheels which needs to be thoughtfully carefully looked into and thoughtfully processed there are many technologies available which can solve these problems as Bhagya mentioned there are many data available in the same way there are a lot of technologies available to solve these problems we are not asking you to you know just to stick to one technology because the technical world itself is like the waves of the ocean it just comes one day and it just moves. There are trends and there are trends which are sustainable, technical trends, and we have seen different, different, different waves of technology coming into the play. So technical world itself is large and you may have already experienced this. Now, in order to understand and talk about the technical background of this session, what type of technologies you can use as a competitor, as a member, what type of technologies will you be introduced to what type of technologies can you use? What are the options available? Should you be focusing on just one technology or not the other one? Or there are there already available solutions so that you can easily do this? Can you use something so that you can quickly prototype something 
without even spending a lot of money and time. Now, these are, these might be some of the key questions that's already inside your minds. Now, we thought that we would like to bring some level of insight to these burning questions, if I may say, some frequently asked questions. And in order to answer uh, those questions, we have uh, we have Mr. Calvin Hill, who is representing again SLASCOM, a general council member. Uh, Calvin, would you like to take a few minutes to explain how uh, technologies, technology can be used in this competition and what type of things to expect? And how would you like to help these young people to use technology for this uh, good cause? Thanks, Delina. And uh, it's a really great pleasure to connect to this launch event and welcome everyone uh, to the launch. Um, so when it comes to, you know, if, if we take a couple of years back, um, if we want to develop some kind of AI infused application, it was quite challenging, right? Um, you need to know a lot of complex uh, technical frameworks. You need to know the algorithms, the models, um, the in detail concepts about ML, deep learning and all of this. And you pretty much need to, you know, probably write your own um, machine learning models or deep learning models. And it, it, it also requires a lot of, you know, hardware such as GPU and all this to run. So it was not easy for everyone to, you know, build their solutions infused with AI. But luckily now, you know, uh, with the movement of, as you know, citizen developers, citizen data scientists, the access to these kind of technologies is becoming a commodity. Whereas you don't need to actually know or you don't need to know in detail or you don't need to write everything from scratch. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. There are a lot of services and technology that you can reuse. Uh, but also do saying that you need to have some kind of, you know, basic core concept about AI and its, you know, components and what it is. Uh, so we will, uh, you know, kind of share that information uh, through our mentoring sessions in the future. Uh, but what I want to highlight here is that we don't need to reinvent the wheel. There are many services out there and you can use a lot of cloud technology to build your solutions, you know, from Microsoft or Google, AWS, IBM, whatever. So it's quite easy uh, for you to infuse AI in your application because the hard work, the hard work of training these models with billions and billions of data points has already been done by some of the technical giants out there. And um, we can use those, right? So we don't need to spend time for training these sometimes, right? So we can use those kind of, uh, you know, services just via, just by calling an API service. Uh, for example, like natural language processing, uh, face detection, face recognition, object detection, anomalies, you know, classification. So where are, the world is headed to in technology, not only in AI, but any technological pillar. It's driving towards the citizen. It's driving towards the normal, you know, user. Uh, because once you have that fair playing ground, you know, you just need to have a great idea and you can develop a prototype or a minimum viable product and get it out there quickly. So in, in the modern world, you can't spend, you know, years and months of developing this, right? You have to be agile. So using technologies such as cloud AI and all of this will help you to quickly develop. And most of these cloud vendors also provide a kind of free trial for students. It's easy to get access. We will provide those information in detail. And the other thing I want to kind of uh, touch upon is um, when it comes to building your solutions. Now, most of the time we see, you know, the terms such as AI has been misused a lot, right? It's used as a marketing term, a jargon. So when you're developing your problems, try to understand what is that problem rather than just saying that, you know, this is an AI solution. Try to understand the problem and then see what is the technology you can add, not going with the technology first. Because if you go with the technology first, you will have some kind of fancy name of the product, but it might not solve the actual problem. So understand the problem properly. We have provided certain guidelines, certain data about certain SDGs, as Bhagya mentioned. So really try to understand the problem 
And you can search out there what similar solutions may be in this region in India, Singapore, or you know, other countries and get that idea. Don't go into creating the problem just after looking at the problem. Do some research and understand the problem and then see the technology, right? So that is a very important thing right there. So then as I mentioned, you can use many solutions like, uh, you know, you can use already pre-trained um, AI models out there, like for natural language processing, for, you know, object detection. Um, and also, if you, if you have your own data, you still can use, you know, kind of configuration level, uh, or we call it low code, no code, uh, where you can simply drag and drop and create your, uh, you know, machine learning or deep learning models uh, very easily. Right. Uh, if you if you don't want to write, you know, your own Python models on, you know, Jupyter Notebook or whatever it is. Uh, but also, you know, if you want to do that, that's great. There is no limitation or no restriction. But what I'm trying to uh, you know, kind of uh, give you a slight overview as to you don't need to reinvent the wheel sometimes. And uh, just one more thing. Uh, when it comes to, you know, this SDGs, as you can see, our logo also represent these six kind of problems. Uh, so you can you, you, need, you can select, you know, ones that you feel that are going to be, become more, more impactful and design and develop those uh, solutions. And, and, you know, always try to build some kind of prototype, right? Um, we encourage the teams to build prototypes because, um, you know, ideas are very easy. You know, you can come with great ideas, but you can, if you can develop at least uh, some kind of work, working prototype, that will be really great uh, because, you know, the world and the country can see what your solution is and how it's going to be practical. So I think uh, about the technology, I spoke about how we can use cloud, how we can use kind of, you know, low code, no code to build prototypes. But we will have in detail mentoring sessions around SDGs and around AI, the basic concepts of AI especially for the school students and the university students and what is the kind of technologies you can use where to get access for example you can get access for a lot of public data sources from kaggle from google data sets so many things you can use there are so many tools out there you know so many things you can use so we'll give the guidance for those so i think those are the few points that i wanted to highlight and i want to wish everyone all the best I think this is a one once in a lifetime opportunity where you have these kind of great organizations coming together to do something very, you know, purpose driven initiative. And I want to wish everyone the very best. And I encourage others also to compete in this and get that experience because gone of the gone are the days that we simply can survive by building solutions just to reduce costs or, in, you know, increase profits for other organizations. That's not, that's not a, that's not the big challenges that we have right now so that's why we want to encourage the new entrepreneurs and the startups to build solutions around this so thank you and all the best again over to you Dilna. thank you calvin thank you very much for that insightful ideas that you brought into the picture now university students brothers and sisters of schools you may have already introduced you some newer jargon that may not be in your vocabulary maybe uh, so far you have already heard of ai ml you have heard just now about solving problems algorithms data sets models artificial intelligence these are all parts of the things that you are going to grow what we are trying to hear is not pull put you to much more information into you but to increase your context not just improving and you know giving more information but we believe expanding your thinking capacity so that you can grow more by thinking more and applying more knowledge but i'd like to highlight one key important message from calvin's presentation which is we are not encouraging you to just build something so that you can win the competition but here the main idea is you find a problem and try to solve that problem now if you try to solve a real problem doesn't matter whether you win from the competition because the moment you think about a problem the moment you have identified a particular problem and try to analyze the problem gentlemen ladies you are already one and that's the exact mindset that we want in this hack ai 2021 program thank you calvin for bringing ideas in terms of technology and obviously 
uh, university brothers and sisters, university students, school level students, if you are still new to AI, ML, and if you believe that you want more support, you want more help, that's exactly what you're going to get from Hack AI 2021, because this is not just the end, but this is just the start. We are going to have many more this sort of uh, this sort of different sessions where we are going to guide you, help you, advise you, so that you all can be in the same level when it comes to the competition. So do not worry about technologies because this is all about finding a problem and solving a problem. Now that is all about competition. Now about the competition, you may have already you know different types of questions in your head. When it is going to start? What's the plan? What are the gifts that's going to happen? Which is, what is the regulations and what are the what are the different uh, different uh, type of teams that you can register? Is the registration period over, or can you still register for this event? Are there any restrictions? What's the timeline and what should you submit at the end? Is it going to be a is it going to be something that you have to come and physically do? These kind of different type of questions, I'm pretty sure you may have already in your minds. Now to clear out most of those problems, we are going to invite a person again from STEM Up Educational Foundation. But still, I might like to encourage you if now, if you are looking and you know contacting and connecting with us through many social media platforms, put a comment there and put a you know, click that share button, share this with your friends, put a comment there and show some love for these organizations and ask any question, challenge if anything is not clear, because this session we would like to get any question that's going to be in your head and try to solve those things. But to answer some of the frequently asked questions about Hack AI 2021, let me invite Prabhat Manaparam, who is director of STEM Up Educational Foundation. Prabhat, good evening to you. I'd like to ask, ask a very, you know, kind of a frequently asked question, I would say, from most of the participants. What's going to happen next? Is the submission process over or can they still register? Because I can see that there are a lot of inner, enthusi enthusiastic teams coming up. What's going to happen next in uh, Hack AI 2021? Thank you, Thelina. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, as you rightfully mentioned, no. Like I think even in the uh, uh, initial stage, you mentioned uh, registrations are still open. Yes, registrations are still open. And it was really great to see uh, the number of uh, entries coming up for the hackathon since we announced this two weeks back. So if I quickly share my screen and um, take you through the timeline, I believe it would be uh, helpful because we have spent some time and put everything together on our website to reduce number of uh, questions uh, we are getting um, from our participant. So if you go to hackai.lk, you can uh, visit our website. I think uh, during the presentation, a couple of times um, uh, this website URL was mentioned. Um, Sorry. Yeah. So this is our website. If you uh, scroll down a bit um, in here, you can uh, see the hackathon timeline. So as I mentioned earlier, we announced and started the registrations on 29th of October, um, almost two weeks or two and a half weeks, three weeks back. So we are planning to have a series of knowledge sharing sessions because we know that there is sort of a Cap. There can be a knowledge gap, especially with our school students. So we have invited series of, um, you know, a set of experts, subject matter experts to come and share their knowledge to help you to, you know, clear out your doubts. So that, that knowledge sharing session series would be starting from 20th November and it will end on 8th of december and most important thing i think most of you are waiting for this solution submission starting date so we have now opened up the registrations which means you and your team now can register so we are ideally expecting team leader to come and sign up in our platform so shortly i will show you how you can sign up create an account and how you can add your team members and then you can submit your solution on um, like, uh, on um, 7th of 
December and submission deadline would be 21st of December, which means you have exactly 14 days to submit your solution. So later I will uh, tell you what exactly needed to be uh, submitted. Um, I think that is one part of um, Kalina's correction. Uh, and then we would be announcing the finalist. So initial screening or semi-final round would be like our panel of judges. So we'd be having subject matter space again for our um, uh, judge panel, panel of judges. So we would be having five um, uh, judges for each uh, category, which means you would have 10 judges for the whole semi-finals competition. So they will pick and choose um, the finalist. So there can be um there, there will be five finalists from each category all together we will get 10 finalists and then those 10 teams would be doing or attending the finals competition which will be a live pitching ceremony uh, in other words those 10 teams will have to present their solution and like uh, do a live presentation in front of our valued uh, Tirina, can you quickly confirm whether I'm audible? Yes, we can hear you. Right. Thank you. Um, so then um, we will be having, uh, as I mentioned earlier, live demo showcase, which means those finalists would be showcasing their problems or, or the challenges or uh, like the solutions they came up for the identified challenges and problem statements. Then on 26th of February, we will be announcing the winners, most every day right, for all of us. Um, and other question, like um, Trina was asking, frequently asked questions. So we have, again, uh, put, like, we tried to think like university students and school students and came up with this fact or frequently asked set of questions. So we have put, we have, uh, we believe we have answered most of your questions. So if your question is not getting covered by any of these questions, what you can do, you can simply go to contact us page and um, fill this or you can call this number or you can uh, you know our social media channels so you can go to those social media channels and drop us a note or you can email um, using info at hackai.lk too i mean all these options uh, are available for you and then so Bagia was given a really nice introduction about these categories like uh, sustainable development goals why we selected only six when we have seven I, I, I'm not going to answer or provide any feedback or comments on that because Mark had subject matter expert and she was nicely spending it earlier. So as she mentioned earlier, so we have picked only six uh, sustainable development goals for this competition. When you are submitting or being, when you are thinking of a problem statement and trying to find a solution, you always have to, it always have to be aligned with one of these sustainable development goals. Because when you're submitting your entry, we would ask you to select your sustainable development goals. In case your solution submission is not related to any of these sustainable development goals, unfortunately, you won't be a, a qualified um, like a team or your entry won't be qualified to be part of this competition. So please make sure to uh, look at these sustainable development goals and uh, to which sustainable development goal exactly your solution or the problem statement falls under. Again, sometimes your problem statement might be falling into multiple sustainable development goals. In that case, you have to pick one. So you have to think uh, through and find the most appropriate sustainable development goal when you are submitting your entry. Uh, and then other most uh, mostly asked question is like, uh, what are the prices uh, we are going to have? So as you can see uh, on our website, so we would be giving um, 100K worth of cash prize, trophies and certificate for the winner in university category and silver 75K, LKR cash prices and certification for bronze, uh, like third place, we will be giving 50K 
uh, worth of uh, LKR, worth of cash buys and certifications. And also, I would like to take a moment to um, uh, remind our uh, one of our partner or one of our sponsor, Trenocate. So Trenocate is one of the leading uh, learning partners uh, globally. So they would be giving you free certifications, allowing you to get professional training and certifications maybe while you are at university. So that would be a great opportunity for you. In addition to these um, initially mentioned gift items, there would be a lot of uh, gift and prices uh, are on the way. So we would be uh, presenting them um, when we are going through next steps. And uh, again, for school category, again, we are giving a 50K worth of cash prize for the first uh, team, like the first place winner. And then for second place winner, we are giving 30K worth of cash prize and other prizes and, you know, uh, gift and certificates. And for third uh, place winner would get 20K worth of cash prize and other gift items. And the next question is like how you can register for Hack AI, how you can create your team, how you can submit your entry. So the first step would be to sign up, register on our platform. So what you have to do, you just go to hackai.lk and click on this large uh, orange color register now button. So you will be redirected to a page like this. And here you have to just put your first name, last name, your mobile number, email address, category you have to select whether you are going to be competing on the school category or university category and then you have to enter your school or university name and then you press enter uh, register button soon after that you will be getting an email uh, the email address you put here so make sure your mobile number and email you are putting it very accurately please double check it because all our communications your activation emails and everything would be delivered to these contact details like mobile number and email address so once you press this register button, you'll be getting an email with an activation code and a link, activation link. So you have to simply click on that link and copy that activation ID and paste it on uh, the website you are, or website page you are getting. So there you can activate your uh, account. Once you activate your account, you can simply go to a uh, login page, right? And enter your email ID. So I have already created one. So I'm gonna log in using that um email id again i will i would i want to highlight impact it our platform uh sponsor support here so again as system up and slash from undp we always try to give you a, a better experience i think this is a different sort of a different experience being given to our university students and school students here because this competition would be completely on this platform this is end to end uh, platform we can manage you you can register you can submit like we are not maintaining any google forms or any other like ad hoc technology so everything all the entries uh, registrations even judging even our panel of judges would be using the same platform to judge your submission so that is one thing i want to highlight coming back to the topic so what you have to do here so you have to um, like when you sign in the first time you would be getting into this profile section. Here you can uh, fill your profile. So as I mentioned earlier, the best case scenario, we are expecting you to, uh, like we are expecting team leader to come here and fill this profile. So basically that's why we have put this as team lead details. So as the team leader, you have to complete this. And then team details, like uh, you can add your team logo, you can add any other image URLs you have, like a team introduction videos and everything here. Those fields are not necessary, like not required. That's why we don't have this asterisk mark. But here, at, under at team members, you have to add your team members because a single individual can't compete in this hackathon. You have to have a minimum of three members to compete here. We always want to motivate you, encourage you to work as a team. That's the motivation behind that decision. So here you can add your team members. Your, you as a leader, you don't need to enter your, yourself again, but other team members, you can add their name, email address, mobile number, and click on this add team members. Then those team members would be uh, visible under, uh, you know, on this table. And then uh, when we are communicating with you, all these team members would be copied on the same email and everyone would be alerted on anything like. So when we open uh, for submissions on 7th of December, you will see a different button here. You have to again log into the system using your the same credential. You will have you will see 
a large orange color this sort of a button here say submission so if that functionality has been disabled for the moment but on december 7th we will enable it so you have to click on that and then you will get a form where you can uh, add your entry so there you you can add a um, short video clip maybe two three minutes of video clip where you are pitching your solution and then sort of an elevator pitch and then you can add any other presentation slides any documentations you have prepared on your profile like on your solution and then uh, as i mentioned earlier judges would be going through your uh, profile like your profile and your solution and based on those they will judge especially in the semi-final so please make sure you can upload uh, two to three minutes of uh, elevator pitch please make sure to cover everything not just about technology maybe how you are going to take it to market the problem you identified how you're going to address that problem instead of how you're going to solve it the technologies you have used especially the go to market strategy because if you are not going to solve a problem which is being faced by majority of the people or at least like not just by yourself it can't be just by yourself it has to be at least by you know set of people otherwise you can't basically sell it or take it to the next level so we want to look at those aspects as well we as i think even calvin mentioned that till also mentioned we don't need you to just come up with something it has to be impactful so this is all i wanted to cover today but before i end i want to make this an opportunity to thank our valued partners undp uh, united nations development program and then our collaborative partners lascom and then our um, um, this whole competition is powered by Sri Lanka Telecom Mobitel. I'd like to take a moment to thank the whole team and our valued sponsors, Altria Consulting, Impact IT, and Trinocade for supporting us and helping us to help the next generation and take them to the next level and open their eyes on these emerging technologies. Thank you so much, everyone, and looking forward to have you uh, in our competition. And uh, good luck. Tilina, over to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Prabhat. That was Prabhat Manapiruma from STEMUP. And uh, he clearly mentioned what's going to happen next and our timeline and clearly mentioned where we are at the moment and what our final um, goals are and where we want to end up. And obviously he mentioned that we want to thank some of our other members, organizations for helping us so that we can help you. This is a one-to-one -one helping session. They are going to help us, we are going to help you, and you're going to help the entire planet. This is why, as Bhagya mentioned, this is going to be a people's moment. It's going to be a collaborative session where you are going to take hand in hand with your friends, your colleagues, your school friends, your university friends, and your relatives, your neighbors, so that we can together Make a better place obviously we have few organizations who is again hand you know helping us who is putting their hand with our hand so that we can help you to run this session and uh, it's time for me to remind some of the some of the sponsors who is going to sponsor us in this and let me invite mr prabhat dahanayaka who is chief marketing officer from slt slt will be one of our pioneering sponsor this is mr prabhat dahanayaka from sri lanka telecom it's a privilege actually to be able to facilitate this kind of uh, event actually the hack ai 2021 so as a national ict uh, solutions provider uh, we pride in actually uplifting uh, tech drive economy in Sri Lanka. So at the same time, it is rewarding uh, to watch young talents on a platform such as uh, this uh, Hack AI 2021. And these young crowd or young ones are allowed to get creative and to showcase their talent, passion and skills actually uh, within the this field of technology so i wish uh, good luck for all the contestants thank you thank you prabhat that's uh, mr prabhat dahanayaka next prabhat mentioned prabhat manapur from stem up mentioned about trenakate lanka who's going to be one of our co one of our another partner who's going to help all of our all of our um, winners to win some exciting gifts about training and 
improving themselves. This is going to be Mr. Rohit Vijaywardena, sorry, Mr. Safrullah Hasim, Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Safrullah Hasim, Chief Executive Officer of Trenakit Lanka. <music> Hi, I'm Zafullah Hashim, CEO for Trainer Kate Lanka, or looking emerging markets and UAE. We invite you all to be a part of this Hack AI competition that's open up for schools and universities and an amazing opportunity for students to come up with their innovative ideas on AI, machine learning, computing, cognitive computing and deep learning sessions to turn your ideas into actual innovations. So this will go on for some time. There's mentors and organizers who have put in a lot of time and effort and they'll be assisting you all right throughout this competition. So join in, bring in your ideas, talk to individuals and let's make this AI event a success. We're indeed proud as Trainercade to be a sponsor for this event and we look forward to bridging that gap between the ICT education and the industry and making individuals job ready. So join these sessions, be a part of it, bring in your teams and let's conquer. All the best. Thank you, Mr. Safarullah. That's Mr. Safarullah Hasim. Let me invite cordially to Mr. Rohit Vijaywardhan, who is going to be the Chief Executive Officer from Altria Consulting. This is Mr. Rohit Vijaywardhan. We believe that the youth can bring the best and most creative solutions through science, technology, engineering and mathematics to tackle challenges that the world is faced with. As a leading data analytics company, we are grateful to witness this amazing movement by STEMA to bring the next generation of leaders and innovators. Altria family wishes all the best to all teenagers and undergrads for the competition. Remember that the Delta will talk to you if you are willing to listen. Thank you again. All the best for your competition. Thank you very much, Mr. Rohita. And let me again cordially invite one of our another co-partner in this program. Thilina, Mr. Thilina Kurukula Surya, a solution architect from Impact IT Solutions. The stage is yours, Mr. Thilina Kurukula Surya. Hi, I'm Thilina Kurukula Surya, a solution architect for Impact IT Solutions. As an IT service provider and a Microsoft Gold partner, every opportunity to connect and encourage the future generation leaders in ICT counts. That's why we are so excited to elaborate with Hack AI Hacker so that we can join together and empower you to become the digital pioneers of the national movement that powered by AI related technologies. The world around us evolved in digital, creating more virtual experience and carry opportunities in IT industry for aspiring future leaders like you. Start by focusing STEM subjects science, mathematics, engineering, get involved in challenges like Hack AI Hacker so that you can expand your horizon and forge lifelong relationship with persons in ICT field. Now go out there and be brilliant creators, visionaries, and especially problem solvers for the digital future we envision for everyone. Thank you. With heartful thanks to all the sponsors, we come to the end of this launching event of Hack AI 2021. Thank you very much for being here. And please remember to visit hackai.lk for more information. But before finishing this, we have a quick question uh, from our audience members to our organization. And the question revolves around the fact about these next sessions, the next moderation sessions, and also importantly, the next uh, set of uh, sessions, which is going to happen and uh, which is going to help all the participants. I, I, I presume it will be Prabhat from STEMUP who is going to answer these questions much more. Prabhat, these questions revolves around the next set of mentoring sessions. What sort of mentoring sessions can the uh, audience members or the competitors uh, can expect from uh, the next set of planned uh, events, Prabhat? 
Thanks, Terina. I think um, that's a really good question. So as I mentioned uh, during my session, so we are planning to have a series of knowledge sharing sessions. That's our first step uh, towards helping uh, and trying to take our students from this level to next level. So we have invited a uh, you know, set of subject matter experts to share their knowledge on uh, sustainable development goals, AI, ML related technology uh, expertise. And then not only that, not only technology, and we need to make sure we are covering go to market uh, strategies, like how they can really uh, build a nice strategy around uh, their solution, how they can bring it to market, how they can sell it, um, and how they can do a presentation, how they can do a pitch in front of the judges you know we always want to cover all these aspects not only just technology um and um, yeah not only just technology but everything as a whole and then telina that is just the beginning and as the next step we would be having mentoring sessions so if you are going to be uh, one of the finalists if you are going to be among top 10 uh, teams we are going to make as or now as finalists you would be getting one-to-one -one mentoring session. So we have a panel of uh, mentors. I think that's where Slascom is helping us a lot to bring our own Sri Lankans who are working abroad in universities, academia, and other you know uh, careers. Like they, they are following different careers, though, but they are into machine learning and AI. So those Sri Lankan born uh, expats would be supporting you. I think that's gonna be a life-changing opportunity. I think that's what Talon also mentioned during his session. So this is going to be a life-changing opportunity for you guys. So we would be connecting you with those subject matter experts. Uh, those people will definitely help you to take your solution to next level. So please, if you are interested, go to hackai.lk and sign up, create a team, and then submit your solution and come to the next level. Thank Till you I believe I answered my question, but uh, Kalin, if you have anything to add, please. Uh, and feel free to add. Thank you very much for uh, for that uh, answer, uh, Calvin. I believe we are going to we are going to have technical sessions as well as sessions about SDGs. So we are we are not uh, just covering the technical matters, but we are going to help our participants about the overall answering session overall program it's not just going to be another set of sessions on technology having said that we have now um, spent a lot of time explaining and talking and discussing about how we can become a part of this program exactly that's what we mean this is not going to be another traditional session where you're going to partner and win uh, something and go home and rest for your life no 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 we want this to be changed we want this to be a partnership between you and the entire planet so this is a partnership this is a this is going to be determined partnership between you and the rest of the people because you are going to take your next level of thinking for the betterment of human beings. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being part of this session today. This is the initial inauguration session and the launch of Hack AI 2021. If you are connected to this session, I repeat, please comment, please ask your questions again from these uh, different methods that you can connect with the Hack AI 2021. We are here to help, we are here to serve and pass this message to your friends, to your colleagues, because this becomes a wonderful moment when we have a lot of people who is rallied around. And to let you know that at this moment, we got to know that there are about 290 plus teams who have come and onboarded with their wonderful teams. And we are expecting a lot of, a lot of thoughts, ideas, imaginations, dreams come into action, which will obviously revolutionize the world that we are living in this world with that great dream let me remind you once that the ex president the, the early president of india dr abdul kala mentioned that dreams are not those things that you just see when you are sleeping but dreams are those things that will never let you sleep now all these competitors university and schools i'm pretty sure that you are all dreamers that's why you are here registered for this event and let's make sure that these dreams that you have about making a world better place will not let you sleep until you achieve these dreams that's our wish that you can be the next set of revolutionists who 
is going to change the way that we live into a better way. Let's help everyone of human beings to have a better life so that we have a better planet, better people with a lot of peace. Until we meet again, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is not the end, but this is just the start. So let's say, let the game begin. Have a great evening and please stay safe until we meet again in another program in Hack AI 2021. Signing off, Tilina Banda. Thank you very much. Stay safe.